With the advancements in space exploration technologies, scientists have identified the signatures of habitability and discovered more planets that can sustain human life. How many potentially habitable planets have they discovered? And how close are we to interplanetary settlement? According to NASA's Exoplanet Exploration page, they have discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets. Surprisingly, more than half of the aforementioned exoplanet discoveries were made with NASA's Kepler telescope, which was launched into orbit in 2009. While the discovery of Earth 2.0 remains an elusive idea, here are the closest known exoplanets that are comparable to our home planet. Scientists believe that Gliese 667 CC is the most identical planet to Earth. The planet was discovered in 2011 and is only 22 light years distant from us. It is located in the Scorpius constellation and it is believed to be at least 4.5 times bigger than our planet. According to scientists, it is 1.5 times larger than Earth radii with a similarly rocky surface. The surface temperature of this planet is about 4.3 degrees Celsius, which makes it a good place for water to keep its liquid form. However, many people are still unsure whether or not water exists on it. Kepler-22b is among the first planets discovered within the Goldilocks zone of a sun-like star. It is thought to be a great spot to search for extraterrestrial life, but the 600 light-year distance requires a more powerful telescope to observe. NASA experts were able to confirm Kepler-22b's validity in 2011 after publishing a set of 54 candidates for habitable exoplanets. It is estimated to be 2.4 times larger than our planet, and scientists believe it has an average surface temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. One thing that makes Kepler-22b pretty similar to Earth is that it has a 290-day orbit. It also has a G-class sun as its parent star, just like ours, but its parent star is a tad bit smaller in diameter and a bit colder. This exoplanet first came to light in 2014 following a joint observation effort by NASA and SETI scientists. It is only 10% larger than the Earth and is located 490 light-years away. The similar dimensions make scientists believe that it's a promising candidate for a habitable planet. Thanks to its distance from the Sun, there is a probability that this exoplanet contains water. Even so, scientists are still not sure about Kepler-186f's capabilities to sustain life. Aside from that, the parent star of the exoplanet is only half the size of our Sun. During its reveal in 2016, NASA was very confident that Proxima Centauri b has a big potential to become a place where humans can survive. This rocky planet is roughly 30% larger than our Earth and is located just 4 light years away. One thing that makes NASA very confident about this claim is that the exoplanet is located within Proxima Centauri's Goldilocks zone. This makes the space organization believe that water will have the ability to retain its liquid form on the planet's surface. A 2018 study proposed a startling idea that several of the TRAPPIST-1 planets, specifically TRAPPIST-1e, could have more water than Earth's oceans. If you are not familiar with it, the TRAPPIST-1 is a cold dwarf star with seven known planets orbiting it. According to early phase of the discovery, some theory groups predicted that the E is equipped with a dense atmosphere that makes it habitable. Unfortunately, a recent calculation from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope revealed that it had no atmosphere, but there is still a possibility that TRAPPIST-1e has a very thin atmosphere. To explore more on this issue, scientists are planning follow-up observations targeted at the planet's orbit. In 2010, the world of astronomy was astounded by the discovery of Gliese 581g, a planet with very similar characteristics to Earth. This was considered a major breakthrough and it raised many people's hope for a new place where humans can live and thrive. Unfortunately, an advanced study revealed that the discovery of Gliese 581g was actually a mistake and the planet did not exist at all. What scientists thought to be a planet was actually a magnetic explosion from a star. An expert from Pennsylvania State University did an analysis of the data. He also reviewed the hydrogen alpha and sodium emission from Gliese 581g and concluded that the planet did not actually exist. The search for habitable planets appears to be one of the more exciting themes in modern astronomy. Scientists have created several tools and approaches for studying stars and their solar systems, and their efforts have resulted in some spectacular findings. Of course, discovering new planets, let alone determining if they are habitable, is not an easy task for these scientists. However, if you're wondering what makes a planet habitable, experts have agreed on the following requirements. 
This is one of the most important factors to decide whether an exoplanet is habitable or not, because unless a planet stays at the right distance to its sun, it will not have the ideal temperature for life to develop and exist. But even if a planet has the right distance to its star, it must still meet other criteria to be habitable. While it might be true that many exoplanets exist in the Goldilocks zone, not many of them are considered habitable. One main reason for this is that they don't have a circular orbit, which is very crucial because a planet will always have to orbit around its sun. These unqualified planets usually have an elliptical orbit, which results in a dramatically fluctuating distance to the sun that, in turn, leads to harsh climate conditions. Besides a circular orbit, a planet must also have a more or less stable rotational axis. It has to have an axial tilt to be considered habitable. The axial tilt is the angle between the rotational axis of the planet and its orbital plane around a star. A stable obliquity indicates climate regulation, liquid water preservation, atmosphere stability, and seasonal variation. Seasonal variation that is predictable and consistent is important to support biological cycles and diverse ecosystems. Life needs water, which is why a planet must have a verified water source to be considered habitable. Of course, the water present on that planet has to be at the right amount, not too much or not too little. Scientists usually detect the presence of water using various methods including spectroscopy, transit observations, reflection or scattering of light, infrared observations, and spacecraft probes and rovers. While it is true that hydrogen is an important element that makes most of the solar nebula, having an atmosphere that is packed with it will not make it possible for complex life to form or survive. The atmosphere needs to include a lot of oxygen too so that it is possible for water to be present, which in turn will sustain complex life, including human life. Philosophers and curious thinkers have been asking this one single question for thousands of years. Are we alone in the universe? Then, after years of observing and pondering, we have come to the first generation of scientists who have the tools to do scientific observations to try to answer this question. Our quest for a new planet is mostly driven by the need to find a fresh supply of resources. We have been steadily and inexorably destroying our ecosystem to the point where we now need to find a new territory to secure our survival. Regardless, old and new scientists have made plenty of solid theories on how the planetary system form and develop. For now, we have come to a point where we have discovered a dazzling array of planets, stars, and space objects, and we're starting to test the actuality of those theories. In a way, each new discovery we come across teaches us a new thing. It tells us a little bit more about how the universe works, and observing these planets has allowed scientists to better determine whether or not we have fully comprehended these obscure cosmic processes. On top of that, what our hunt for other planets does for us is open up a big door of opportunity to explore and look for other potentially habitable worlds, another blue and white pearl just like ours. Despite the fact that there has not been any explicit evidence of real life beyond Earth, the discoveries of these Earth-like planets are still very fascinating to discuss. So far, we know that our quest for the final answer has uncovered startling details regarding our exact place in the universe. While it might still be hundreds of light years away before we find any sign of extraterrestrial life, it is always tantalizing to come across something new along the journey. Sure enough, the decades ahead will bring us more explanations about how our life came about, where we actually come from, and perhaps where we're headed in the next ages. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will never miss out on any of our channel's updates.